What up guys, Autopop here. Uh, I am so tired right now. Uh, I just, I mean, that yeah, could be in part, big part, because of the fact that I just biked straight from campus to my house, to my place, whatever. Um, and you know, by my estimate that, I mean, whatever, that was about 20 minutes. Um, and it's not terrible, but it's a little warmish out here, and a lot of hills. A lot of hills. They suck. Like, I'm a good biker and all, but I still don't like hills. Just, and I think my back tire might be slightly out of order, so. So. In the video I posted yesterday about the pollen, you know, I thought, I hope that that was mildly interesting. If not, oh well, it's a good study tool for me, honestly. Um, so I, it's basically three days done with the week. I mean, technically I only have one more class left this week. Yes, I know it's Wednesday, I have one more class left. I have one class on Thursday and then none on Friday, so yay! <laughs> um, but this week is deaf, well this semester, is definitely going to be interesting. Um, I have a human remains class on Mondays and Wednesdays, and turns out that we're going to be dealing with actual skeletal remains, human skeletal remains, if that wasn't obvious by the title of the class. Um, we actually took it out today, like we're in groups of three, and each of us took out a different skeleton, and we're basically going to be with that group for the entire semester, and we're going to be examining this different areas, different parts of the skeleton throughout the entirety of the semester. So we basically got to examine, like, put together a skeleton with our group, kind of get familiar with it at first. And we were primarily looking at the cranium today, and I gotta say, that was cool. I've never looked at or even held a human head in my entire life. I know that sounds weird, but just, just don't. Just don't, okay? And I just did both of those in one day, in one class, in like a span of an hour, less than, in the span of like a few minutes. I just did both of those things, so that was really cool. Um, I'm trying to think. My crime scene investigation class is definitely going to be interesting. We got, I got that every Monday and Tuesday, and then a long three-hour lab on Wednesdays, um, which I just finished before I biked home, and. We're basically going to be having a mock crime scene for the entire semester, and we're going to be basically processing it as, you know, groups of like four. So that is going to be pretty cool. Um, for my group, it was, I was kind of by my suggestion, but the other group members kind of agreed with that because reasons, but I was designated the crime scene supervisor of the four of us. Um, one of my group members in particular knows how detail oriented I am and she's like, Yep, you're you're good you're good for that. So, there is that. Um and I'm also gonna be the scribe, so I'm basically gonna be writing down everything that we're gonna be doing as we process this crime scene. I don't know why I used air quotes twice, but okay. So that both of those are gonna be very fun. So like the lecture for crime scene investigation is going to be learning primarily, and then the lab is going to be processing crime scene basically. So that's certainly going to be fun. Um, I also have my pollen analysis class. I mean, that's Tuesdays, Thursdays, but for my pollen analysis class, um, they're only like no legit. There are only four of us in that class. It's kind of crazy. I think some students aren't a fan of the professor, or at least his teaching ways or anything. I certainly don't mind them, and I kind of wanted to take pollen analysis, so I'm fine with it. But uh, that's that's definitely going to be fun. Uh, I'm being paired up, because I think we, if what I understand is correct, we have like this project that we're supposed to be working on over the, co over the course of the semester. And I am paired with someone who has actually brought back a bunch of pollen and plant samples from Brazil. So that's definitely going to be interesting. My Bloodstains as Evidence class... I didn't realize it was a five-week online course by an instructor 
who likes to work his students to the bone with those classes. He really does. I took two of his online courses spring semester of last year, and for five weeks, I was basically a workaholic. Now, I'm, I am a bit of a workaholic now, but I was, for me to call myself a hell of a workaholic for those five weeks last semester, that says something, just saying. So, okay. But we're going to be doing all kinds of blood experiments and all that, and I kind of, you know, did a lot of thinking over it, did some research and stuff. I think I'm going to end up using my own blood for that. Because I might be, I might have a way to. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to cut myself to get my blood or anything like that. I'm going to get it drawn, and I'm, and I have a few places in mind where I can do that. I mean, sounds like some pharmacies might be able to do that. So, and then of course I donate plasma as well. So I should be able to ask them if they might be able to draw like a vial or two of my blood. It sounds fun. <laughs> I, I... It, it said, it even said it was prefer like in the syllabus for the class, it said it was preferable for you to use whole human blood, but it wasn't necessary. There were plenty of, you know, fake blood recipes, and I'm just like, are you kidding? It'd be interesting to use real blood. What are you talking about? And I've never done anything like this, so it kind of excites me. I have all kinds of books on blood stain analysis and blood spatter. I don't know if I just said blood splatter or blood spatter. The, the, pol the politically correct term is blood spatter. Blood splatter is incorrect. So any, anyone out there? Any of you? I mean you. I mean you. If you're thinking blood splatter is correct, it's not. It's really not. Ask any CSI forensic investigator, maybe even some detective out, detective, detectives out there. Yeah, it, it's blood spatter. That is the correct term. Oh, wow. That's a pretty long video. I'm not going to be doing any editing this time. I'm just going to put the music at the end and then friggin' upload it because, you know, I don't want to deal with that and I have other things to deal with. Not to mention, I am tired and I should probably... If I can get to sleep a little earlier, maybe I can wake up a little bit earlier in the morning and not have to feel rushed or anything like that, so... That is literally all I have. This semester is going to be very fun. So, like, pretty much every class is going to be interesting or and or fun in some way. So I'm very excited for that. So that is literally all I have. So, as usual, until the next video, check you laters.